The iPad has a bunch of ways of getting around the OS. Some of it is really obvious, some of it is less obvious, and some of it is just outright hidden. So in this video, I wanted to show you all of my favorite tips and tricks to completely speed up your iPad use. I actually have a bunch of iPad videos here on the channel, so go and have a browse, but I'll link some of my favorites below, and let's get right into it. First up, you can take a note immediately from your lock screen. If you've got an Apple Pencil, just tap when the screen is locked and you can immediately start writing a note on the iPad and this will then save into notes for use later. Sticking with pencil tips, you actually get two options here on any screen you're on with the iPad. If you swipe up from the bottom right, this will engage a quick note and you can write in here whatever you need to. And if you are on an internet page or something like that, you can also insert the link that you're looking at, which is really useful. Alternatively, if you swipe up from the bottom left, this will take a screenshot immediately and put you into markup mode. I actually use this one a lot and it's really, really useful. You can doodle or write whatever you need to on here and then share it immediately from this sheet. Super, super useful. Staying with notes for this next one, and this is one of my favorites, if you have notes open next to something else, you don't actually need to hit copy and paste to get text into it. You can just highlight the text and then drag that into your note file and it will just appear. Not only will it do that, but it'll also bring over all of the links and you can do the same with an image. You just highlight the image and drag it over. There's no need to use copy and paste. Jumping over to the home screen now, and if you long press an app, you can actually get quick actions for it. So in Gmail, for example, if you long press, you can go straight to composing an email. If you try it on Spotify, you can go straight to an album that you are listening to or a playlist. And in things like notes, you can go straight to scanning a document or making something new there. This also translates to the control center. So if you swipe down from the top right, you can hold your finger on any of the options here to get more options. So if you long press the torch, for example, you can adjust the brightness or something like that. And if you long press into Wi-Fi or Bluetooth, you can select different devices, which again is really useful if you're just trying to be quick. Let's talk about some gestures now because this can really speed up your workflow massively. My favorite of all of these is the three fingers for copying and pasting. This is a really useful one. If you highlight any text or an image and pinch in with three fingers, it will copy it. And then you can move to somewhere else on the iPad and pinch outwards with three fingers and it will paste. This is super, super useful, especially if you're trying to be quick. And it also translates back to your iPhone as well. So if your iPhone is linked up to your iPad on the same Wi-Fi, you can pinch out on your iPhone and it will paste there and completely vice versa. So you can do this on your iPhone and then it will paste back on the iPad. Crazy useful, one of my favorite ones. Sticking with our fingers for now, if you use four fingers on your iPad and swipe left or right, it will switch app which again, speeds up things massively. You can also pinch outwards with four fingers and that will take you back to your home screen regardless of where you are. And this last one, which is a little bit trickier to do, if you pinch in halfway with four fingers, it will open up the app switcher so you can jump to somewhere else completely. If you can get used to using those gestures, it will speed up your workflow massively and I always try and use them all the time. Also, if you're using your iPad with a keyboard that has a trackpad, all of these gestures work on there, but you just need to use one finger less. So it's three fingers rather than four. Okay, this next one is new to me and it's quite an interesting one. If you triple press your power button, you can engage a function through the accessibility menu. For me, it's engaged with background sounds. So when I triple press, I get this nice kind of ocean sound when I just want to get on with work and don't want to pick any music. You can set this to a host of other things in the triple press menu, which is in the accessibility settings. This next one is one I use all the time and it's using Spotlight to search your iPad for absolutely anything. Rather than kind of browse around and try and find an app or try and web search something really specifically, what you can do is just drag down with one finger on your home screen and it will engage Spotlight search. You can then type in whatever you're after and usually if you press enter, it will take you exactly where you need to go. For example, if you're looking for an app, if you just type in the first couple of letters and hit enter, it will take you there. Or if you want to search the web for something, you can type in the search there and hit enter. It will bring you straight to Safari. Or if you just want to do some simple conversions or a sum, you can type it in there and it will give you your answer. Okay, let's talk about using a keyboard because there's a bunch of little shortcuts here which will really help you out. If you press Command and H, it will take you to your home screen directly from wherever you are. If you press Command, Shift and 3, you'll take a screenshot of your iPad. If you press Command, Shift and 4, it will take a screenshot of your iPad but also launch you directly into markup mode so you can then use your pencil to mark something up and share it. And finally, Command and Space will take you into the Spotlight Search, which again is another useful tool in itself. Okay, for these next few tips, you have to do a little bit of setup to get them working initially, but they're well worth it in the long run. First up, a super useful one is text replacement. It basically allows you to type a couple of letters and it will replace the text with something longer or more useful. I often find myself typing my address over and over. So if I type in RDSS, the iPad will type out my entire address. 
to get this set up, go to settings, general, and then keyboard, and then text replacement, and you can hit the plus button and add as many as you like. This is definitely one of the biggest time savers for me. This next one I really, really like. If you use split screen apps often, rather than opening one and then dragging the other to the other side of the screen, you can actually set up a shortcut which does it automatically for you. For example, I open Google Docs and YouTube all the time next to each other when I'm writing, so I have this icon which lets me open both with one tap. It's ideal, and I also have one for research too, and they're both really, really useful. If you want to get this set up, head into shortcuts, tap new shortcut, and then type in split view apps. Then add the two apps you want to open up together, give it a name by tapping at the top left, and then at the top right, hit the share button and add it to your home screen. You can then tap it and it will open up those two apps together at once, saving you lots of time in the long run. This also works in Stage Manager on your iPad if you do use that too, but I don't find it quite as useful there. You can also do something similar for slide over apps, which I find really useful because I often put loads of apps into slide over, but the shortcut just doesn't work right now. You can set it up initially and engage it once from the shortcuts menu, but then if you try and open this up in any other way on the iPad, it just doesn't work. I think it's a bug, but if anyone's got any information of how to get that working or knows anybody, then let me know in the comments below. The final thing which can speed up your workflow massively on the iPad is having different screens for different tasks. I have a full video on how I have this set up, so I'll link it up here if you want to check it out. But this little widget on my home screen lets me switch the iPad into different modes depending on what I want to do. I have one for productivity when I need to get work done, one for gaming when I just want to chill out, and one for when I plug my iPad into an external monitor for better control. I found this to be one of the best things I've ever done with my iPad in terms of speeding things up and just getting more productive with it and I really recommend doing something similar. So those are my favorite tips for getting the most out of your iPad and speeding up your use in general. I hope you found it useful. If you have, pop a like and if you've got any other tips to kind of make your iPad use way speedier, let me know in the comments below and let everybody else know. That would be awesome and I'll see you all in the next one.